What's up guys, Zach here and today I'm going to be talking to you about my top tips for new drivers. Okay guys, so tip number one is to make sure you get an insurance company that is not going to mug you off. Insurance companies are intent on ripping young drivers off because they think you don't know any better. However, if you're smart, go for a policy that suits you best and don't just let them rip you off, then you're going to be fine. Tip number two is to buy a car that suits your sort of driving. Now when it comes down to car insurance, insurance is worked out mainly about the car you drive. You need to get a car that's going to suit you, it's not too fast, not too powerful, reasonable insurance, reasonable to run as well because you'll be surprised at how much cars can cost to run. And also, you need a car that's going to be reliable. Now if you don't have a car that's reliable, it's just going to make your driving miserable. Tip number three is to remember that you are not Ayrton Senna. Now your parents are going to say this over and over again, but you've got to remember that your driving skills are at the bottom level and the whole point of driving is to move them up so you can then do what you want. To do this, I suggest just getting out there, practice, practice, practice. If you're not confident about something, whether it's a parallel park, a bay park, or even going around roundabouts and driving fast in the corners, practice it. But make sure you don't put yourself in a situation where you might be Protect yourselves. Now I'm talking about using your dash cam because the main problem is as a young driver you're going to get blamed for any accident that you're involved in, whether regardless of who actually was at fault. Having a dash cam could not only reduce your insurance premiums but it could also massively help you in a bind when you're involved in an accident. They're really cheap, I've got one in there, 110 quid, next base 402G, fantastic quality, gives me peace of mind so I know that's something. I've got my back, you know, it's just definitely worth getting and you never know, it will save you thousands in the long run. Okay guys, tip number five is to make sure that you are never distracted. Now we've all done it, these are terrible. They'll lose your license, they'll make you have a crash, anything. Even just turning the radio up will actually put you to blame if you have an accident. Now this is a real issue when it comes to people who just learn to drive because I know what you want to do. You want to get in that car, ramp up the tunes and cruise around. However, this can really, really ruin your driving career. Okay guys, so the next tip is to make sure that you always take into account the conditions that you're driving in. Whether it's wet, icy, foggy, anything, you need to make sure that you adapt your driving style to how the environment is. If it's wet, you need to be leaving twice the distance as you would in the dry. If it's icy, you need to leave up to be more than four times the distance because it's just not worth going to the back of someone if you hit ice. If it's foggy, you need to make sure that you're putting those lights on. You need to put your headlights on as well because that's how you're going to get yourself seen. Okay guys, that's pretty much it. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Please follow me on Instagram at IJ Southwood and I'm also at Twitter IJ underscore Southwood. There's plenty more videos to come on the car and also all sorts of tips for all walks of driving such as photography, road trips, driving tips even. So make sure you stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.